You know, in any given town in this great country of ours, you can see something like this. The only problem is, you get a bunch of them together, and you get a lot of this. We take the lip service and the hot rods, we pull them off the street, we put them on the track. My friends, welcome to the fastest 30 minutes on television. This is Grudge Rape. In this episode, two battling street racers bring their ongoing grudge to the track for a high stakes race to even up their street racing cred and their pride. Zach DeKegg in his Fox Body Mustang defends his winning streak against Craig Carmen's S10 pickup. It's a best two out of three race right now on Grudge Race. My name is Craig Carmen. I'm out of Loveland, Colorado. We own a 94 Chevy S10. Zach has the edge on the street. At the track, we haven't raced a whole lot. On the street, last year, I got him a whole bunch. And then this year, he got me a couple times. And last week, I was running 5.0s down the track all day long, won eight races in a row. And I, I feel like I stack up way ahead, I mean, you know, heads and tails above him. So I'm going to get out on the 60 foot and just walk him. Uh, my name is Zach Keg. I drive the Franken Fox for uh, Magnum Performance. It's a 351 Windsor, stock block and crank, single S475 on it, turbo. Uh, started as just a stock 5.0, put nitrous on it, started terrorizing all the imports in Longmont. And I've been through a lot more street time on it than he does with this truck, I think. I definitely have him covered on the street, but on the track, I think he's going to come back and try to get me now, so we'll see. Good ones here. Welcome to Grudge Race. All right, first and foremost, we have Craig and his team. We have Zach and his team. Now, tell me about the Grudge. Zach, what's the deal? You guys street race all the time. Tell me the deal with these guys. It's been going on for a few years now. Used to be a nitrous motor in the car, and he beat me back then. But since I got the turbo, it's kind of a different story. Now, you guys have offered a couple things up. Let's talk about that, all right? You want to take his Mustang, his Fox body, and spray the entire car pink. That's what you want to do. All pink. The tires, motor, windshield, fenders, bumper, headlights, everything. The steering wheel, all of it. <laughs> it's a new steering wheel. <laughs> do the windows, too, so we can't see when we race you next time. <laughs> all right. Get used to it, Pinky. <laughs> Get used to it, Pinky. All right, so that's what Craig and his team wants to drop on you guys if you win. What do you guys want if you put him down two out of three? I think we're gonna have to Frankenfox the S10. Frankenfox the S10. Now that means every panel on the truck doors, hood, fenders, quarter panels, bed, it all becomes a different color. Yes, sir. Right. Now, anything else to add on top of what we already have for Grudge Race? You need 500. 1,000? I'm good with that. 1,000 bucks. 1,000 bucks. Yes. All right, if you guys are good on that negotiating, we'll go heads up, 4 tenths Pro Tree, first to the stripe, wins the first round. You good with that? All right, guys, let's make that happen. Grudge right race round one, boys. Reaction time challenge. See you over here. Yeah. All right, all right, here we go. Reaction time challenge, OK? You guys know how these work. Really simple, really easy. This is going to determine who gets lane choice. You're going to push that button on our porter tree, light the bulbs. Whoever wins the green light gets lane choice. You guys ready? Yes, sir. All right, Craig, you got this, right? Oh, yeah. All right, Zach, you got this, right? Oh, yeah. Let's light the bulbs. Ooh. He got me. Oh, crazy oh. one. Nice job. Nice job. Where you working? Where you working? What lane would you like, my man? I'll take the left. It's the best lane of the day. All right. Left lane for you. Right lane for you. Sir? Time to get in your car. Squash this grudge, guys. Let's go. Don't wreck. <laughs> Here we go. Welcome to the grudge race. Lap number one. We have the Fox Body Mustang under a lot of boots. Big Nitrous S10. 500 plus coming just on night. Let's get these guys in the burnout box and see what they can do. First lap, heads up, and be the first one to the strike wins the race. So here's the deal. Two street racers bringing it to the track to squash the grudge. Craig has never beat Zach ever since he went to a turbo-style setup. He's 
spraying 500 plus of nitrous to that 400 cubic inch small block. Lot of line here, and it starts with who gets off the tree first. Guess that you heard the S10 popping, cracking. Sums up with that. Let's go to the cars and find out what. We got to talk to me, man. What happened on that? Obviously, I think you missed that tune, right? I think we missed the tune a little bit, man. Uh, might have, might have burnt the plug, scorched the plug. We don't know yet. Got to get back there and uh, check it out, see what we got. But, uh, All right, man. We still got two more races. Two more. That means you win one, win right? One. And then you win everything with yeah, the second one. That's what's up. All right, man. We'll get the workout. You got, got some man. things to do. Obviously, there's a little problem in Craig's truck. He's got some oil in here on the on the floor. What happened there, man? It was it just it was popping. I don't know what's going on. Here. Maybe something in the valve train. You need to take a look at, man. Yeah, we'll take a look at it. And Pull see. the plugs. Obviously, got some oil issue in here. Hopefully, it's just something like the gauges or something like that. I'm not sure. Anytime you have oil inside the car on the floor, <laughs> it's not a very good thing. Not a very good thing. All right, get on belt. Come out here. We got to talk about this second round, and we'll do that in just a second. Bro, I was pulling for you in that round. I was at your shop the other day. Last time, from what I hear, and I hear from other people, last time we punched a ticket. Yeah, he did. Um, we blew the tires off. We were still working out the truck, but we didn't even turn the nitrous on. So, so how are you gonna beat in groceries? Oh, we're gonna be on a track, and the only way he's gonna get around me is if I break. So, we just rebuilt the motor and good to go. He's really confident, really there. What happened on the run? I don't know, I might have missed a tune-up from the weather. I'm, I'm not sure, but it was popping pretty good going down through there. So. Yeah, man, you think you heard anything? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Al, what you got to say, man? Man, we're not sure, man. We just got to take a look at it, see what we got, and come okay. back. It's amazing how a W will quiet the camp down. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right? It's usually yes. what happens. Yeah, it's easier. OK, so you're one lap up right now, and the negotiation stands as is. Are you asking for anything? I need some time to figure out where my leak, I got an oil leak. You just need some time to go over some stuff. OK, how much time are you asking for? 45 minutes. That's fine. Yeah, that's right. 45 race. minutes is on the plate. You guys have that to find the issue with your truck. Good luck on that. We'll see you back here in just a little bit. Your camp is one up. You got 45 minutes. Time's ticking. Get your cars and get to work, all right? Thank you, guys. Cool. done. I'm leaking oil everywhere. All right, Joe Barry, tell me what's going on at Craig's camp. OK, they're trying to track down an oil leak. Floor pan's full of oil right now. They're working on that. They're also going to put a fresh bottle in the truck to see what they can do to get a win. I have to go fix it, otherwise I'll wreck. I'm leaking oil everywhere. All right, all right, welcome back. OK, man. That's how it'd be interesting. You asked for 45 minutes, nothing more. You got your 45 minutes. Tell me the truck's A-OK. -okay. Truck's not OK. It's hurt. It's hurt. We're going we're gonna to ask for a car. Um, ask for a link. For a link. Yeah. OK. Um, and that's what we So what you come to the table. Now, Zach, you feel comfortable in giving these guys, knowing that they're hurt, taking their word on that, and uh, giving them a, a car link? Yeah, I ain't worried. OK. All right. So. Anything else going in this pot? Or is that it? We think that's good. <laughs> yeah, I would too right now. <laughs> but I bet you may change your tune if you uh, come out on top this round, we'll right? See. Yeah, we'll see if it's right. <laughs> you guys get the car link, all right? You guys staging up as normal. Time to handle this second round of Grudge Race. You guys ready? Let's do, Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Now, understand, the S10 gets a link, a full truck link to stage on. Negotiate a car link. We'll see how it plays out. He may need more than that.
Wow! Craig wins this lane. That's a win. It was ugly, but it's a win. So now we have mano y mano, the even matchup. Unbelievable. It's popping. It's firing. If it wasn't for that length they negotiated, no way would they put that one in the W column. Yeah. All right. Well, man, I got to tell you. Yeah. So congratulations, I think. Right. Um, explain that run to me. Um, bang, 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 bang. Bang, bang, boom, crack, <laughs> snap, bang, like a bang, bang, bang. Crispy. Yeah. All right, Big Al, uh, here's your shot. Because I got to tell you, man, they're kind of in an uncomfortable position as well because they don't want that car with a pink paint job on it. <laughs> Neither do we. <laughs> Neither <Yeah>. do you. <laughs> well, what are you asking for this round? We do get cool down time, right? Yeah. We want to ask them for an additional 20 minutes in the same race. No. Mm -hmm. Heads up. Heads up. I mean, you guys think you're faster, well, we just, so well, you're, you're shouldn't it be heads up? No. If you beat me, if you if you're a car out on me, and you beat me by a bumper, you're not faster than me. You're looking at a hurt right? truck. That's fine. Same race. No. Same race. Hell no. If you're faster, you should be able to beat that hurt truck. I heard that, that thing runs like limp. five hoes. My truck, my car's running like five. Okay. Eights. All right. Let's, <laughs> hey, that's fine. Let me get in this. So you guys have asked for an additional 20 minutes. Same right? race and same race. And the same race. You want the car lead, okay? Now, you guys are willing to give them the time, the length. You got to compromise here somewhere. What do you got? We'll give them time. I'll give them the time. But we I lost want, that race, so. I want so. that heads up. Lost that race by a bumper. That's yeah. fine. Okay. I mean, heads up. I think that's what we were all about. That's what we were all about coming into it. So. OK, it's how fine. about this? How about this? Same race. You give, them the, you give them the time. And this time, instead of giving them the full length, you give them the rear tire. I don't want to do that, man. I want heads up. That's what we came here to do. That's what we talked about ahead of time. I don't care if your truck's hurt. Heads up, man. We got a hurt truck. Everybody here knows that. So what we what we want is the same race we just raced. He should have a little more in that thing to beat that hurt truck. Stop, he does dude. That's about to come out the pan. Oh, that's your build. So oh. is your truck. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh. We're working oh. on it. We're, 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 we're still in this just like you. You don't get links on the street. This is what this is all about. Oh, well. It's a street race brought to the track. This is the track, baby girl. This is the track. This ain't the street. I this we is were the street track. racer. What are you talking about? This is the track. Where are you at? Heads up. It's hurt. Obviously, you're going to use that 20 minutes to pill it up. I'm not stupid. Yeah. Yeah. We got to get some ground here, fellas. Help me out. Here's what we're going to decide. Give them the rear tire, all right? And they have 30 minutes, period. OK? Let Damn. them stage on the rear tire. Give them their 30 minutes, all right? That way, at least gives them an opportunity to show back up with a thing that can compete. Because right now, I don't Obviously think Obviously, they can compete. Mm. Yes. Obviously, they were right there. It's on its way out, man. Well, it's hurt, man. It is. There's no doubt it's tuned up part. So I wouldn't ask for length position. if I was broken. You're not either. in that position. I have. Don't been. say what you would do if you're not in the position. You're lucky I gave it to you the first time. Well, you, this would, would have been over. That if was, that if was we were, your negotiation. If we started where true. we started that at was, the beginning, where it's going to be heads up all day, that's what we talked about. Hey. Remember that? Hey. Remember we talked about no lengths, all heads up? If I would have given you that, this would be over right now. We wouldn't be negotiating this. But if the truck wasn't hurt, it would probably be been over too. That's fine. All right, let's settle this right here. Okay, we're gonna give you 30 minutes, nothing more. Okay, we're gonna give you the back tire. Because last time you, you needed the length to beat him. So you're gonna have to come with a faster truck this time. In 30 minutes, we're pulling the trigger on this, okay? Cool. So they're staging on the back tire? They're staging on the back tire, not the full length that we gave okay. them last time. Yep. So let's we're shorting their gig by a few feet. All right, All right. Let's done go. and done? Let's do it. All right, let's do it. Put these, dude. I thought they were street racers. Why are they trying to get freaking lengths and shit? I don't need to do anything but wick it up. We came into this race, both of us were talking. If I was losing right now, I wouldn't be asked for lengths. I'm a freaking street racer. I don't ever, I've never asked for lengths in my life. I don't care if I get beat by 10 cars. They were talking the same. Now all of a sudden they're being about it. So I don't know. I gave them their race. They beat me. Now they won't. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to beat, right, I'm gonna beat right, them. No, hold on, hold on. I don't even care. Right, watch this. Riddle me this. Riddle me this. When you come up here, you give them the real tire. You stage your car just as normal, and you drag their ass. That's what I'm it's going to feel 10 times better, right? I know they're going to turn that thing up, though. There's no doubt, all right? So handle it. I'll see you up here in third. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Man, I got to tell you guys, I've been waiting for this moment. You got the 30 minutes. Did you find what was wrong with it first and foremost? Because I heard it was crazy back there. No, we didn't find what was wrong with it, but um. Out of good faith, we can't take a back tire. We gotta go heads up. Okay. So That's there all you I go, wanted. man. That's all I want. Questions are answered. Now, in this third round, we have $1,000, right? Sure. On this race, okay? On top of that, whoever loses this round has to face Stephanie, the torturer. Now, 
Don't be fooled by her charming little words. Say hello to the boys. Hi, guys. Mm-hmm. She comes armed with a can of spray paint just to start the process of what's going to happen. This is it. Third and final round, no more rehearsals. This is for everything. The money, the $1,000. Along with, well, the Franken 10 or the pink fox body. Everybody clear on that? Yes, sir. All right. And because you were mad enough in the pit, you realized no street racer asked for links. links. You're going to go heads up style, correct? You're go heads up. Heads up. That's how we're going to nice. sell it. Heads up, eighth mile, first to the stripe wind, the second person. Nobody remembers second place, except for the guy that's getting painted by Stephanie. Best of luck to you. Hop your cars and settle this grudge, all right? Let's go. Here we go. All right. Yeah. So Craig found a problem with his truck, and it's OK. So he's going to hit him for the first time with everything that he has. And it should be running perfect, first to the stripe. It's going to be interesting to see if this car is ready to rumble. All right, here we go, the third and final round for this particular grudge race. Now, I will tell you something interesting. Zach and the Mustang has done pretty good today. Not a lot of adjustments on the car. The problems have been coming from the S10 with Craig and his camp. I think those problems are no longer. So for the first time, we may see this S10 go down the track under full power, a lot of nitrous, and it faces a hot boosted Mustang. And really, which one of these two vehicles is the fastest? Puts it on top of Craig and the S10. Can't wait to get back and talk to him. Nice job, man. Just don't know what's going on with it. Something's hurting the motor. We're gonna have to take a look at it, figure it out. We can see how much Craig wanted it. He stayed in that thing the whole time, backfiring, popping, and just eating components and parts. You'll be back, <laughs> but Stephanie the torturer is coming for the truck. Good thing I paint. <laughs> <laughs> Before we get up there, you gotta ask, man. How'd that feel going down there, knowing that he was probably had to hear? It. I heard, I heard it that time, definitely. Yeah, yeah. It was, right? he was pretty close still. I hit my scramble button right at the end just to kind of put a couple more on him, but yeah. it fell on its face. It only went like 102 miles an hour or something like that. <laughs> you had to be yelling inside your car. I was pretty excited. Yeah, man. Yeah. Congrats, man. Good job, man. Love you. Good job, you too, man. All right, all right. Let's bring you guys into the negotiating circle. Talk to you for all a little right. bit. All right, all right, man. I thought you had the bugs worked out. I will give you a, a nod for racing them heads up. That was pretty cool of you, man, right? Yeah. When you say? Oh, yeah. A lot All more right. respect now. Yeah, man. A lot more respect. The least you lose, you lose. I lost a little bit. I'm not going to lie. I lost a little respect last time. We're good now. We're going <laughs> to fight another day, though. Yeah, so. yeah man. He lives to fight That's another cool. day. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, there's a winner and a loser here. The winner, my man, you're getting a Nissan Rebel Welder, which is unbelievable. You're getting some great safety gear from Racequip. 
You're getting a porta tree to practice your reaction times and some heat shield product for all your thermal management issues. Sweet. And you, the loser, get something too. First and foremost, you gotta come out that pocket with that thousand dollars and put it in Pop's right here, hand. Brothers. Keith, thousand dollars. No. Okay. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Secondly, all right, you have a date with Stephanie the torture. <laughs> but not probably the date you were hoping yeah. for. All right, she's gonna hit every panel, fender, roof line, chunk, and the bed of your ride with some spray paint. She's gonna, well, Franken 10, your S10. Okay? All right, with that being said, we're gonna say goodbye. Thank you for Grudge Race. Appreciate you guys taking it off the street, putting it on the track. You ready? ready All right, let's go paint. I'm sorry, man, this is gonna hurt me. It's gonna hurt me. You got eight again? That's an eight. <laughs> Just coaching her along. You need to do it thinner. <laughs> yeah. Ow. Good start.